This, this one second, it was almost glossed over by everyone and myself included, but I've had some time to digest and Google's also explained a few things. So give me a few moments to explain to you. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by breaking the good news to you. Now, this one moment, we're gonna talk about that one moment quite a bit here from Google's hardware event, but you're going to find this applies to your entire smart home. The word thread or the protocol thread is about to change and really democratize a lot of your smart home. It's what you've been asking for and we're right on the custom, cusp of it and I'm really excited to tell you all about it. So this moment here, what it depicts is a number of partners that we know and love. So we saw cust or companies like Philips Hue, we saw Wise in there, we saw Roomba, a lot of manufacturers you know and love already all partnering with Google on their next kind of venture here. And what they're talking about is those products being able to be really well integrated with the next set of Nest products. This is nothing new. And what they first said was, great, you can go out and you can set up these new products that we're working with these partners and you can set them up in their applications. That's nothing new. What is new though, is that they said, you'll be able to set up those products in our application as well, inside the Google Home application. And this is a massive shift that is based on the protocol thread. And I've seen the interest in thread come more and more as I've given you little snippets, little tidbits, and we have a full thread uh, video out there that goes ahead and compares it to ZigBee and Z-Wave. And you can go watch that here at the the end of this video but what ZigBee and Z-Wave do really well is they define all of the layers that you need in order to execute one of these smart home devices. So when it's ZigBee and Z-Wave, they have everything all the way up from the very bottom layer all the way up to the application layer. And that application layer being defined by those protocols means that you just have one application. And the best example I always use is Samsung SmartThings. So you have Samsung SmartThings that uses all or, or is able to set up, uh, configure, customize, and control all of your Zigbee and Z-Wave devices. So that's just one application to rule them all. Now, Thread doesn't do that. They don't have that application layer, which means you can define it in a number of ways. And that instantly sounds scary to a lot of people. That's actually something that I think a lot of people look at and go, oh no, I'm gonna be in app hell. Well, that's actually the opposite of of what Google told us and there's reasons for that. And I'm not going to go in depth, but it means Google can create the application layer for connection to these devices that will be thread capable. They're also going to be able to do this with Wi-Fi type devices because that application layer isn't developed as well. But when we're talking about the Google Home application itself, you're going to be able to bring all of these different products directly into that application. But if you prefer the manufacturer's application for any reason, if there's a certain feature you're looking for, you're going to be able to use that manufacturer's application as well. So you have this real flexibility. Now, that flexibility has done something to the industry and you might not know it, but Amazon, Apple, and Samsung are all a part of the Thread group. So this is the alliance of companies that are working on the Thread protocol and working to kind of build it out. And this is where I start to talk about the democratization of your smart home because if it's all based on Thread and Wi-Fi, what you have the ability to do is not have one app control things, you can actually have multiple apps so you would be able to potentially switch between different control systems. And all, like I said, Amazon, Apple, Google, Samsung, they're all on board with Thread. And Thread has even snuck into the Samsung SmartThings V3 hub. They actually have a transceiver there. So they've put that out there for a number of years in the industry and are ready to go. Like I said, Amazon and Apple are part of that. And I believe HomeKit is being built right now as 
to, to be ready for Thread and to really bring in all those devices into HomeKit as well. And when I talk about Amazon, they have a number of Zigbee hubs in their devices already. And because Zigbee and Thread utilize the same 2.4 gigahertz transceiver, I believe, and I don't have more than just the technical knowledge here of what could be done to back this up, but I believe that Amazon could go and firmware update to dual use those transceivers if they'd like. Now, it'd be a little tricky, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be something that I think we're going to see on day one, but this does extend down to the devices you already have, and this is what's really important as well. See, we already have Philips Hue bulbs, and it'll be very interesting to watch the 2.4 gigahertz Zigbee protocol that they're using here. Could they give us, and will they give us, the ability to change this to a thread device and then fully manage it within Google's ecosystem here, or Apple's, or Amazon's, or Samsung's anyone. So it'll be very interesting to watch that. I don't expect it all to happen here right away, but I do expect new versions of products that are capable of doing that as well as being fully thread certified and being able to be set up within Google's application. So I'm gonna move on from this point and kind of on to another whole component of this video and what it means for you. This will be a little more Google specific, but if you're still confused kind of by what I'm saying, like I said, I have that other video about thread and it compares it to Zigbee and Z-Wave. It goes more in depth into what this protocol is and what it can do for us. But on top of that, you can go ahead, leave comments down below, or join our community to follow some more of these insights. I'll leave all of those links down below. Now, as a Google Nest owner or someone who owns those Nest products, what's going to be really interesting to you is that the Works with Google Assistant program is always already quite expansive. Now, what Google told us is 40,000 different devices and 5,000 different partners are already a part of this program. Now, what they're saying saying about that moment is that those vendors or those partners can go through a qualification process and then they will get deeper access to the Nest devices. And with that deeper access comes a number of control options for us that you've been asking for for a while. So and I'm going to read this directly in the words of Google themselves. Once partners have passed this qualification process, they will be able to view and control your Nest cameras and other devices directly from your security provider's application. So that means, and, and they were talking specifically about a security system that you already have in your home, but within that application, once there are works with Google Assistant partner, they're going to be able to create controls and that means to trigger your Nest devices to do different things. Now that opens a whole ton of options on its own with a number of different partners and a number of different products that are out there, but this also will allow a number of other things within the Google Home application and this includes what they're talking about, the ability to trigger events with your Nest products. So we're going to see the actual actual creation of automation within the Google Home application. Now they've said they're going to give us a number of pre-created routines that they think will be very useful to us, but they're also going to give us the full custom control of creating our own routines with these partner manufacturers within the application. So yes, there will be actual automation inside the Google Home application, but what's even cooler about this, what I'm even more excited about is that the partner partner companies can create custom routines inside the Google Home application as part of their partnership. And we've already seen the API access out there for these partners that are already qualified and they can be out there creating this stuff right away. Now, the works with Nest program and lots of the devices and, and basically the, the improvements in these home routines won't come till early 2020. So we still have some time to wait but then you're going to see a release of devices, you're going to see a release of partner applications being improved and being worked into this program, and then in mid-2020, you're going to see those custom routines start coming from other manufacturers. So uh, 
your your custom ability will be there by then as well and there's even kind of a specific device access uh, for individuals program that I've already signed up for that gives you an even deeper way to create your own integrations and applications. So I'm really excited to take part in that, but that won't come till late 2020. So what you're going to see is more and more features, more and more control capabilities starting early 2020 for all of your Google Home products and really a ton of thread-based products as well. So I hope what you're feeling is a real democratization of the smart home. I think it's in a different way than a lot of us had kind of hoped, but it is coming in this way and thread is the basis and it's giving us, or it's going to give us a lot of different options for creating routines or automations throughout our smart home even if you're a user of Apple products or Amazon products or Samsung products or Google products it's not really going to matter because these companies actually have been listening and in the background utilizing Wi-Fi as kind of that high density traffic uh, interface for controlling those devices and then starting to prepare Thread, Zigbee and Z-Wave in the different ways that they can utilize those to really democratize your smart home and not force you to necessarily use any one specific system. So I hope you're excited about this. I know I am and if you want to continue to know which are the right products to bring into your smart home, well this is the kind of insight that I can provide you on a weekly basis. So make sure you subscribe to the channel that's up on screen. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.